Why learn German? Well, one reason is to improve your English. That's the unexpected message of the National Spelling Bee Finals. A couple of years ago, the national champion won on the good English word Ursprache. The runner-up tripped up on another good English word, Weltschmerz, and another favorite lost on the English word Heiligenschein. That makes German a good choice for every English-speaking mensch. Whether you're a kindergartner, a student, or whether you're just one of the familia. German is basically a Lego language. You take word blocks like Doppel and Decker, and you just smash them together, and you've got a Doppel Decker. Or you take a word like Welt and Schmerz, you put them together and you got some real Weltschmerz. It may sound painful, but it's really quite practical. For starters, you can understand those Volkswagen ads. And for the double bonus, you can pronounce the word Farfegnügen. Farfegnügen! You don't have to be a wunderkind to learn a little German. Even Einstein was no wonder as a kind. Once you learn the basics, even those words that stump the superspellers are really just a piece of kuchen. Here's the leitmotif. German is very American. It's worked its way into our world. A lot of people worry about too much Spanish, but German has become everyday English. We check the weather on the Doppler, and we check the temperature in Fahrenheit. If your neighbor chokes on his bratwurst, you give him the Heimlich. A little German can help you meister your business. After all, it's the Wirtschaft, don't Kopf. Germany is the world's export meister. And if you find you've celebrated too much, well, just take an aspirin and call me in the morgen. Gesundheit! See how handy German can be? In fact, in German, handy is a cell phone. Handy. I think they've got something here. It is handy. Cell phone sounds like a germ spewer. Let's go with handy. If you work really hard, you might even be able to understand Arnold Schwarzenegger in all those movies. I'll be back. And you might even be able to understand his politics. Sure, English is a must, but German is a plus. So let's take a cue from those super spellers and all learn a little German this week. After all, how would you otherwise understand the most popular sport on the planet Earth? Just settle back, grab your Afrikola, and repeat after me. Tor! It's wunderbar. Let's go! Let's